Morning folks, it's your uh, weight loss motivation to start the week. It's the bank holiday edition, uh, just because it's routine, it's being Monday, so uh, yeah. Um, time waits for no man. Um, okay, I'm going to talk about balance now. I'm going to talk about the concept of balance, but not in terms of a balanced diet, because a balanced diet in moderation, if you look at examples, doesn't tend to, doesn't tend to work very well because of the addictive nature of, of sugar and flour uh, based on examples. So I'm not going to talk about balanced food. I'm going to talk about balances in your mood and how you balance um, things in respect of positive and negative. Because I think sometimes people get a bit confused when um, they look at somebody like me and they think that I'm always positive. Um, it's changed a little bit in the last year because obviously things have happened to me externally that have <laughs> changed my approach somewhat. Um, but I think what tends to happen is people think that you're always positive or they think that some people are always positive and some people are always negative. What tends to happen is for the more successful person that's got a decent life um, in context, it's a balance. And it's finding the balance, really, between um, not being too positive and not being too negative. Now, there seems to be a correlation between the more positive you are, the better, but you need a ratio. Because if you're too positive, you don't see problems, you don't see things coming, you're not prepared. Then again, if you're too negative, everything's a problem, everything's permanent, everything's personal and blah, blah. So it's about finding that key balance between the two. And you can do this. I think it's, it's just about looking at situations um, as they are, really, and just uh, uh, being aware and observing things. And this is quite an important skill to have, really. It's just because people go through life on autopilot and they just sort of coast and then things happen. Um, and then it's always negative, everything's always negative, negative, negative. Now, I think the classic would be um, what social media's turned into, which, I mean, if you just scroll down your news feed, it must sort of, we're sort of come, um, what's the word I'm looking for, we're sort of obliged to do this every day, everyone's sort of compelled, sorry, to, to look down the uh, <laughs> news feed. And what you tend to find is there's, there's, there's a lot of negativity that's being spewed out to the world, because what tends to happen is that people don't know how to deal with it, and they don't have to talk about it, so they just go bang and they just put it on there to articulate it because it sort of takes, um, makes them feel better uh, about the negative situations in life. And I think what tended to happen before was we just deal with it um, years and years and years ago before we had this blame culture, before we had everything like that. We would just deal with negativity and look at it as it was. Like, for example, um, if you crash your car, for example, and, and it's not your fault or even if it is your fault, um, that's just a singular act. Now, as long as no one's hurt and no one's, you know, seriously injured, then if you look at that as it is, it's just a situation that needs deal, dealing with. It's not permanent. It's not personal. Um, but again, it's looking at it like that, looking at every little situation that happens to you with balance and saying, right, okay, there is going to be some negative things happen. Like, for example, if you're trying to lose weight, the biggest myth, I think, with weight loss is that it just does that and you just lose a pound a week. Chug, chug, chug. Well, it doesn't, especially if you're female, because you're going to have hormonal changes potentially and things that are going to alter it. So it's not going to go like that in linear motion. Um, and then it's dealing with those things in a, in, a, in, a, in a balanced way and saying, well, okay, um, what do I need to do differently? How do I need to adjust? How do I need to look at the situation? But also accepting that that's going to annoy you a little bit and being a little bit negative if things don't go your way and not going, oh, everything's fine and everything's rosy in the garden when it's not. Because if a classic quote I heard nine years ago, was um, if you uh, ignore the weeds, they take your garden. So some people, I used to be a bit like this years ago, um, when I was a sales manager, as a good example, I tried to positively motivate my team to sell more. A huge mistake. They needed to know how to do their job. So they didn't need motivation, they needed mechanics, they needed strategy, and they needed things. Now, mechanics and strategy aren't always positive. Um, they're sometimes it's just a matter of getting done what you need to get done, uh, and that doesn't necessarily have to fit into both camps. So the skill I'm gonna talk about today, I'm gonna to teach you today to make the point, is always look at things subjectively and say, right, okay, this has happened. Um, don't view it as permanent, it's all negative, and don't view it as all good, because what people tend to do is when good things happen, they tend to think everything's okay, and when bad things happen, everything's bad. Well, you've got to get a balance and you've got to look at things as long as you're still here and you're still alive and you made it and whatever, you can then look at things in a balanced way and say, okay, what does this mean and how can I deal with this moving forward? People swing too much. I think it's, you're never going to find a, you know, life doesn't tend to give us um, a smooth ride, especially if you're out there doing things. If you're out there trying to achieve new things, do new things, then you're going to get to places that you're not sure, um, 
what to do sometimes because they're new. So if you just stay like that and don't ever progress and don't ever grow, uh, your life's boring, you don't achieve anything, and then you end up just sort of you know floating. Whereas actually, if you're going out and you're going into the rough seas, it is going to be like that, and it is dealing with those situations. And it's not sort of giving up as soon as the first negative things happen, and it's also not saying, oh, everything's great when the first positive things happen. It is about looking at balance, and it is about saying, right, I've just wrote, I'm reading a book at the moment, he calls it buoyancy, so <laughs> bobbing. <laughs> so you say, well, okay, this happened, it's negative, okay, what needs to be done? This happened, it's positive, great, what can I learn? And also, it's okay sometimes to be angry with yourself in a negative way, to say, you know what, I am annoyed that, that happened, I am a bit, you know, knocked off that this particular thing happened to me, but then what am I going to do to fix it? No, I'm annoyed with myself, everything's over, it's all bad. No, I'm annoyed with myself, what now do I know? need to go and do that's going to help me move forward with my goals uh, and help me achieve things in life so key message for today is look at balance classic time of year for balance august end of august it's that classic oh god September, autumn's coming thing. Autumn comes every year. I'm 37 years old now. Autumn comes every year. It rains, it's sunny. The weather's a great example of this. Let's look at the situation as it is and say, right, what can I do um, to balance this so I don't implode and then everything's a te everything's terrible and my holiday's over and oh my God, well, hang on a minute. That's life, it does that. Let's get some balancing, look at things subjectively uh, and have a good week. Speak to you soon, cheers.